living another dream Drifting on a blue ocean When you're gonna reach out Of course I love you. You know I love you. Look, I just had to get away, okay? I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Oh, for Christ's sake, will you let up for a minute? Is our daughter listening to this? You are something else, lady. Look, I've had enough. Enough! I'll call you later. so glum in paradise? What's your problem? Yeah, what's your problem? Me? I have no problem. You're the one with the problem. You come to this beautiful place with, with your head down, all grim-faced. What could be the reason? Why would I share my problems with you? Because I have the answer. <laughs> I know something you don't know. Yeah? What's that? There is no problem. Come over here and watch old Mother Nature do its thing. Spinning around we are, a thousand miles an hour. Come on, come on, you gotta let it go. This is our moment right now, this is it. Rolling around we are, everything exactly as it should be. This is our world, my boy. No, thank you. Oh, come on, this, uh, this is just what you need. This is some of Mendocino's finest. It'll Look, change your consciousness. Yeah, I've been high before, okay? That's not what I need. Uh, you don't know what you need. You're all screwed up. Look, who do you think you are? Some kind of guru? <laughs> I didn't come down here to listen to your shit. <laughs> I see conflict in your aura. Yeah, so what? Big deal. That's life. Look, it's doggy dog out there. Dogs don't eat dogs. Yeah, you know what I mean. You gotta fight for what you want, man. Conflict's a fact of life. It might be a fact of your life, but what would happen if you just stopped fighting, huh? I'd be a loser, wouldn't I? I'd lose my job. I'd be bankrupt. My wife would be gone. You're lost in a labyrinth of success and failure, and you come to see me because I know the way out. <laughs> well, you won't get out by fighting. We're leaving the old warrior belief system behind. The old way is falling apart, and a new way is being born. What a load of crap. It's all about money, man. The dollar rules. Well, money is a fact of life. It's a very clever invention. But if you think money is your goal, then your real purpose is hidden. You gotta get money out of the way. That's why you come to see me. I'm gonna help you. You're dreaming. You're totally out of touch, man. This beach is not the real world, okay? This beach is beautiful and peaceful. But out there, in my world, people are chewing each other up. This is the real world. Okay, let's see if we can get some. You think you're ruled and regulated by some huge power. So a lot of the time, you're doing what's required of you and, and, and instead of trusting your instincts. 
a little boy. You were taught to do as you were told. Huh? And you're still doing it. Now's the time to stop. Oh, sure. Yeah, forget about the law. That's one way to get money out of the way. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. You're on another planet. It's not a real jail. It's a dream jail, a little boy's fear. Can you let it go? Maybe not. Here's the question. Are you ready to set yourself free? Look, I'm struggling, man. I mean, I'm just trying to keep my head above water and the waves just keep coming. I, mean, I don't think you understand. I owe a lot of money, okay? Student loans, credit cards, car, mortgage, and my job is always on the line. I see. What's your job? I'm an attorney for a prestigious law firm. I work 12 to 14 hours a day, making money for the senior partners. You like your work? Are you good at it? Yeah, I'm good at it. You win a few, you lose a few, but you get paid all the time. Look, I need the money. So you mean you wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for the money? Damn right I wouldn't. It's endless paperwork about mostly boring issues. Ah. Well, boredom is often an excuse for avoiding the truth. What's that supposed to mean? I'm bored with my job, and that's the truth. And with all my debts and everything else, I'm just sort of stuck. Ah, ah, now, now that's good. Good? Yeah, yeah, knowing that you're stuck is the first step towards change. No. Look, you're not seeing the whole picture. I have a three-year-old daughter, okay? And a wife who's pissed off at me. And why is she so angry? Ah, she's always on my case. I'm married to my job, she says. I'm not there for her and Natalie. The intelligence of the universe is available and passing through us at this very moment. How is this person to be freed? How is this living soul to be fulfilled? Look, you worry about your own soul, okay? Fulfilling the soul is not on my agenda. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. What do you mean? You got it worked out so that you can't be happy. In other words, you're faking it. <laughs> faking it? <laughs> you're in disguise. You're hidden behind a false front. <laughs> That's why she's pissed off at you. Ah, look, I don't know who you are or why I'm even on this beach talking to you. To learn something to change. Look, you're, you're faking it because you're afraid. You're afraid to be who you really are. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Why on earth would you be afraid to be you? <laughs> I'll tell you why. You were taught to be afraid by fearful people. So you did what they told you to do, and you told them what they wanted to hear. And you're still doing it. You're still faking it. Shut up. <laughs> Shit. Fuck! Ah, I detect movement, something stirring within. So what do I do? That's yours to decide. The instructions come from inside, from inside the skin you're in. Quit my job? Go bankrupt? Divorce? No, no, no. Small steps at first. Take off your mask, see what happens. <sighs> what mask? Why am I even listening to you? It's not an accident. This beach, this beautiful beach, the waves that never cease. The sun goes, the night arrives. There are no accidents. You made this appointment with me. I've been expecting you. I came here expecting to be alone. Oh, well, it looks like we have company. Evening, gentlemen. The park closes at sunset, and there are no fires allowed on the beach. Ranger with a gun. Are you going to shoot us if we don't leave? I sincerely hope not. <laughs> then we're not leaving. <laughs> of course, if you did shoot us, we wouldn't be able to leave, would we? You're breaking the law. And if you two don't leave right now, I'm going to have to issue a citation. And if you're going to be difficult, you could spend the night in jail. Can I see an ID, please, sir? Uh, no ID, no name. 
And you? Yeah, I'm a lawyer. I have a card here somewhere. Founding fathers would not believe this, sir. We're doing no harm. Why are you harassing us? Doing my job, sir. He's just doing his job. His job is to serve and protect us, not harass us with a gun in his belt. This beach belongs to all the people, all day and all night. You put on a badge and a gun, and you think you own it. Hmm. There are certain rules that we all have to adhere Daddy to. Daddy, your rule. Wake up, both of you. This country is being run by fools, and you're just following along with it. Have you ever heard of government with the, with the consent of the governed, huh? Consent doesn't mean force, does it? Sit down for a minute. Sir, this is not in my job description. Ah, it's more your, to you, my boy, than your job description. Is love in your job description? Huh? What about joy? Is compassion in there? <laughs> Sit down. What, what I have to say needs to be heard by both of you. I don't have time to waste listening to some old guy. Sit right down! On. He wants us to quit our jobs. Uh, no, 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 no. What I want is for you both to be happy, and you're not. What do you care? <laughs> I see you struggling in the river. I'm offering you a hand. I see you both, because you're both crying out to me. You're, you're, you're drowning. We're not asking you to save us. You're in a trance. You're gasping for air. And I'm trying to wake you up. You're both trapped inside a way of life that cannot fulfill you. And you know it, but you won't admit it. <laughs> you're both faking it. I want to tell you a short tale. Not far from here, there's a cage. Inside that cage, hundreds of unhappy people are trapped. An armed guard stands watching outside the cage. A little boy tries to squeeze through the bars of the cage. His mother is embarrassed by all the people around her snarl angrily. She pulls him back and scolds him. She says, if you go out there, something bad could happen. You could die. <laughs> but again and again, he tries to squeeze through the bars of the cage. And again and again, she scolds him. But then one night, when the moon is full, everyone is sleeping, the boy sucks in his breath, and he squeezes and squeezes, and the bars seem to bend. And suddenly, he's through. The guard lies snoring outside the gate. He is chained to the cage. Wait a minute. The guard is chained to the outside of the cage? Yeah, and he's asleep. The boy notices the key to the cage is around the guard's neck. And then he escapes into the woods. After running for miles and miles, he he climbs a tree and rests. <laughs> Over the next months, the boy learns how to take care of himself by helping others. He helps a farmer with his crops. He helps a shepherd with his sheep. And he grows bigger and stronger. And all the time, every day, he thinks about his mother and all those unhappy people still trapped in the cage. He resolves to set them free. One day, he starts off on a journey back to the cage. He arrives at night, when everyone's sleeping. Carefully, he takes the key from around the guard's neck and unlocks the cage. Quick, mother, he says. Come on, he says to all the unhappy people, you're all free. They all stand there, staring back at him. No one wants to leave the cage. So what happened? He leaves the gate open and goes on his way, taking the key with him. <laughs> He's very sad and disappointed to leave his mother and all the unhappy people behind. But once he's found his freedom, he'll never go back. A soft rain is falling as he runs through the woods to the open fields beyond.
Why didn't the unhappy people just leave? Fooled by fear. Afraid to be disobedient. You, you know all about that, don't you? They felt safer inside the cage. Well, that was a good story. Now it's my turn. My story is the park closed at sunset and fires are prohibited. And I can hear my supervisor's voice telling me to get you guys out of here. And, oh no, please, don't light that in front of me, please. You don't smoke? Well, I have in the past. What, you didn't inhale? Listen, <laughs> I'm trying to do my job and you're testing my patience. I've asked you to leave nicely. Now I'm gonna go back to my truck and call my supervisor. What am I gonna tell him? You gonna leave voluntarily? I'll be leaving soon, no problem. And you? I will go in good time at my own convenience. You did recognize yourself in a story, didn't you? You, you, were, the, you were the guard chained to the gate with the key around his neck. <laughs> Have a good evening. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> so, uh, are you planning on spending the night here? Oh, uh, I think not. My home is wherever I happen to be. You know, there are inside people and outside people. Now, mostly, I, uh, I live outside, you know. At one time, I was stuck inside, stuck in a, in a maze of uh, opposites, you know, winning, losing, succeeding, failing. So what'd you do? Well, I woke up, didn't I? Huh? <laughs> In a single moment, I realized I could do what I want with my life. So I freed myself from the cage, the cage of my own creation, by the way. Hmm? And I stepped into the unknown. Yes! <laughs> and then I felt the touch of it all. I fell in love with this life. I couldn't go back. One way forward, no way back. Once you see the truth, you can't unsee it. <laughs> now I'm free. I go south in the winter, like the whales and the pelicans, and just like them, I stick close to the coastline. <laughs> just let the moments unfold, and the mysteries will be revealed. Yeah, well, I should get going. Oh, before you go, I have something more to say. Sit down for a minute more. Listen to the waves landing on the beach. This is it, they say. Well, I wouldn't mind betting we haven't seen the last of that ranger. I definitely don't want a citation. All right, well, what I have to say is this. You're in that cage, a cage of your own creation. You want to get out? Are you ready for freedom? I'm unlocking the gate. OK, so the gate's open. Where do I go? I mean, what do I do? You think I should quit my job, give up everything, and live on the beach? It's not your job or your wife you have to give up. It's the idea that you can't do what you want. You need to free yourself from, from, from your self-imposed cage and be who you need to be. Let go of those false authorities. You can stop faking it. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a concept. There's nothing wrong with me. They just won't leave us alone. <laughs> well, my supervisor ordered me to call in the sheriff. This is Deputy Cunningham. He can't stay here, guys. Let's go. Good evening, sheriff with a gun. <laughs> We were just talking about, uh, about, about false authority, weren't we? <laughs> Let's get this straight. Either you're going to leave voluntarily, or I'm going to arrest you, and you'll spend the night in jail. Well, well there are two other options. You could uh, shoot us, or you could leave us alone so to harmlessly enjoy what is ours. Officer, he means no disrespect. Are you going to leave voluntarily? I will leave in my own good time, and this young man can make his own decisions. You know, you're harassing us. Uh, you're disturbing our peace. 
You're creating a problem where none exists. I'm bringing in two uncooperative white males. Do you copy? This is Cunningham. Hello? Hey, I'm leaving voluntarily. You won't get any signal down here. By the way, there's an extreme high tide expected tonight. It's gonna get a little damp down here. This is Cunningham. I'm down here on Portuguese Beach with Ranger Cooper. We've apprehended two white males. We could use some help. Do you copy? No, there's no problem here, officer. <clears throat> okay, the old guy's harmless. He's a bit cantankerous is all. No need for reinforcements. Did you go to school? Did you ever read the Declaration of Independence? Do you understand what consent of the governed means? Wake up. Old man, you need to respect the law. I can respect you as a person, as a living soul, but your blind obedience to what you call the law is an abomination. The so-called legitimate use of force, that gun in your holster, pre pre prevents you from loving yourself. What? That gun represents hatred and fear, <clears throat> and it holds you captive. You're not respecting your true self as a person. <laughs> You're giving away your personal power. Now, I'm not listening to any more of this crap. You'd better get ready to leave, old man. I'm serious. Let's go. Clearly she means business. Officer, I'd like to tell you a story. No more stories. You're a disgrace. What possible harm are we causing? You're both public servants. You're supposed to be helping us, not forcing us against our will for no good reason. The law is the reason. Now let's get moving. He's right, you know. We weren't harming anyone or anything. Surely there are more urgent matters needing your attention. Sure. Like going home to dinner. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That we are all created equal and endowed with certain inalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. You get it? Come on. Let's get moving. Listen, listen, listen. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter it or to abolish it and to institute new government. Do you get it? Oh, shut up. Look, I'm going to let you off with a warning this time. Do you have a place to go? Uh, I do. I'll uh, help you up. I'll be on my way then. Mm. <laughs> no offense. I uh, I wish you well on your journey. Remember, you don't have to squeeze through the bars. <laughs> the gate is unlocked. And you have the key. Thank you, sir. I'll remember that story. I'll remember it, too. I'll get the fire. Okay. Hmm. Good night. Just, uh, just a moment, young lady. Uh, before, hmm. Just a, a few words before this, uh, this, hmm. this magical evening comes to a close. I, I know you are a good person. I, I can see it in your aura. You see auras? Yes, I do. After many years of practice, they're there to be seen. My grandmother sees auras. She's offered to teach me. Oh, can't be, can't be learned or studied. You have mm. to, in order to see them, you have to set yourself free, and then they will appear. Well, I am free. No, no, you're not, but you could be. Let me tell you a short tale. Not far from here, there's a cage with hundreds of unhappy people trapped inside. A young girl is trying to Shut squeeze through the bars of the cage. The mother is embarrassed. Drifting on the blue ocean. When you gonna reach out? Hey, babe. Look, uh, I realize I've been weird lately. <laughs> it's not you, okay? It's me. I love you, darling. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, I'm on my way home. Yeah, I, I feel like I've been in a trance, going through the motions without really feeling anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Yeah. 
Like I just got out of a cage that I built around myself. I love you, darling. All right, I'm on my way home. You can make a better life. You're just waiting for the right moment. You can find